Hi, I'm Michelle. This is my Romantic Tangle, and I am still knitting up my Hobby Lobby clearance yarn. I will be knitting up Hobby Lobby clearance yarn until the end of time. This project was I Love This Yarn. It's a worsted weight acrylic, and this is the remains of one skein. I didn't take a picture before I started knitting, but that's okay because we, we're all knitters. We know what a skein of worsted weight acrylic looks like. This is 252 yards of yarn. It was $1.24. And I got a lot of I Love This Yarn Worsted this year in a lot of different colors, and there was not a plan for it. Leanne Williams left me a comment asking what I was planning on knitting with it, and honestly, until I read that comment, I had vague thoughts of mittens or a cowl or maybe striping for a shawl or hats for the NICU or I don't know, worsted weight yarn stuff. I didn't have a plan. As soon as she asked me that question, it clicked. I wanted socks. And I knit myself over the past week and a half or so a pair of socks. I love these. The color is tin roof, and it is this nifty kind of model tweeted. I don't know what term I want here. These are for wearing in my drafty farmhouse while I am stitching late at night. I'm excited. I'm more excited than I should be about this pair of socks. I started toe up. I did 44 stitches. I used what turned out to be a size 4 set of needles, using the term set of needles as loosely as possible. This kind of sums up my 2020, doesn't it? I'm not even sure if they're all of the same size. I don't care if they're all of the same size. The two wooden ones are. The other two they're close enough. I worked the foot. The sole is stockinette. The top is a corrugated rib sort of thing, which I'll explain in a moment. I did a short row heel. And then I did what was going to be a corrugated rib, but at the point where I decided that was what I needed to do, I thought I remembered how to do it, and the internet was out, and I didn't want to go pull one of my gazillion stitch dictionaries even from my newly organized bookshelf where I could have easily found one and it's not quite what I intended it to be but that's okay. They're socks and I like them and they fit and they just tick all the boxes for what I was trying to do. I love this yarn and the color and if I'd had enough of it I would have knit a sweater. Maybe one of these years I'll get to the Hobby Lobby clearance sale and there will be enough to knit a sweater. Now I worked from two separate skeins of yarn and the reason why I did that is I knew from experience that I could get a pair out of one skein but I wear size women's size 11. I wanted long cuffs and I didn't want to fight the length of my cuffs trying not to run out of yarn. So I just did two skeins whatever I make with the leftovers the yarn that I have, because I did an equal size sock from each skein, my leftovers are equally portioned out. That means I don't have to fuss with that later. I mean, I've got a scale, I know how to do it, but it's easier if... It's easier to just work with the yarn that way in advance. I like worsted weight acrylic socks for wearing around the house. They are not the same thing as wool socks because acrylic will never be wool, but they're nice. I, I think they're nice. I have also worn acrylic worsted weight socks in my tennis shoes running around doing errands, and you know what? It's not probably the bestest pair of socks on the planet for that purpose, but the world also didn't end. Let me know, did you get a lot of Love This Yarn acrylic at Hobby Lobby? What are you doing with yours? because I've got a ton more skeins in variegated colors and I need ideas. I'll put a link in the description box down below to my other Hobby Lobby yarn clearance knitting if you want to see what else I've been up to. I'm Michelle, this is my Romantic Tangle, and I'll be back with you again soon.